hey, 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 what's up? What's up? Good morning. Boy, it's early morning, too. Very early. Well, how y'all doing, man? I wanted to just come and uh, drop something on y'all yesterday about the debate. Man, I had fun yesterday. And it's fun for me to debate, y'all. I don't know about these other guys, you know. But it's fun. And look over my ashy hands, man. It's too early. <laughs> Wait. What's up? What's up, Jeremiah Judah? It's Beverly. Hey, what's up? How y'all this morning? Oh, my brother. Damn, hold on. <laughs> I'll turn the camera back on. But, uh, yeah, fam. I wanted to say this. I wanted to come and, and say this. Never, ever, ever, ever be manipulated by what you see in the comment section on Sign of the TV. Never. I want to point something out to you. I know Sign of the, and I love the brother. And I know how that platform works. I want you to think. Out of 7,000 people. And most of those were Israelites. Probably 2,000 of them are RBG Hebrews. Not one Israelite comment on the, on the channel. <laughs> see. All of those comments that you see on the channel. Are either troll accounts. Thousands of folk. Or. <laughs> I want to say thousands, but hundreds of folk who hate me that I bust their heads and beat their teachers up before like I did with Garfield and Jabari and followers of people like Jabari and hurt people in Kemet, which there are thousands. But what goddamn uh, post did you ever go on where you see no one from a particular person's community on there? Huh? <laughs> That means some of those moderators are erasing comments. Yes. That's the truth. See, a lot of people don't know how this shit go, but I do. I do. I do. But let me also say this, fam. Let me also say this. Garfield, I was watching your show this morning, and he brings up the debate yesterday, right? He brings up the debate because he sees my name in his chat. Then once I bring up, hey, Garfield, Noam Arnon was brought up in our debate yesterday and you admitted that he found the bones of that site. <laughs> Let me say it one more time. Noam Arnon, I think that's his name. Noam Arnon, archeologist and scholar and lead curator of that particular archaeology site. He found the bones. That's an archaeologist. What makes him less credible than any other archaeologist? Especially the archaeologist that I debunked that you brought yesterday. One of your archaeologists using a pseudo ray that I exposed and didn't find nothing because the, the piece of tr trash equipment. I told you, archaeologists put their hands on. They use hammer and chisel and shovel. Uh-huh. Then, Finkelstein. <laughs> but I said it just now, fam. Listen to it. Noam Arnon is definitely a world-class archaeologist. He may not be somebody that everybody know about. Just like most people didn't know about that cave. But when Noam Arnon found the damn bones <laughs> and Garfield admitted it after I tell about the story and then you cough it up. Oh yeah, okay, well, somebody went down there and they found bones. What are they doing finding bones if ain't nobody there, dummy? <laughs> uh, 
See what I'm saying? They can tell you, oh, no. It, first it was, no, there's no bones in the church, which was a red herring. I debunked that. I showed them the bones are five stories below. And the church, again, is a historical archaeological site, fam. Built by King Herod. The same man that built the Temple Mount. Mount. And, and had working for him a person that wrote books about Abraham. Huh? Nicholas of Damascus. <laughs> Boy, you lost every which way. I proved that there are writings that none of y'all minimalist, terrible scholars that come against the Bible, none of y'all bring up. Nicholas of Damascus wrote all of them writings about Abraham and it's in another historian's book, Josephus. Josephus references Nicholas of Damascus. Nicholas of Damascus worked for King Herod. King Herod built not only the Temple Mount, but he built the Temple of the Cave of Mashpelah. Who found the bones, Garfield? Were there bones down there? Huh? William Devers said there was nothing there. Finkelstein said there was nothing there. But I said another archaeologist actually went down there. Why? Because he's not a Gentile like Devers. And not a hater of his own people like Finkelstein. Finkelstein and Devers can't go there. Why? Because Gentile and a hater of your own race. That's why they took a pseudo ray, a high impulse prospecting tool. Family. Prospecting is not archaeology. Hmm? Finding gold and shit like that, looking around for hairpins and gold and, you know, nails and all that kind of shit, that ain't archaeology. You're using a high frequency machine used to find gold, do ultrasounds, and uh, take wrinkles out of women's faces and stuff like that. That's what a high frequency machine is. 1800s, the year 1800s, family technology, this boy brought to me. <laughs> Oh, so again, I, I challenge anybody, listen to that debate and debunk the information on that channel. Like I said before, don't let nobody fool you. I know how this YouTube shit go and I know how Sarnetta TV go. They're not going to let not one Israelite comment stay on that channel. They're going to erase it all. Sarnetta pays his moderators to do this kind of shit. <laughs> Think about it. All these thousands of RBG Hebrews and all these thousands of Israelites, and that's probably the greatest majority of the people that watched. Not even one comment from one Israelite got to stay on your channel. Man, please. You don't listen to sick people to judge a debate. You listen to the information, and then you go check the information out. That's how you judge who won or lost a debate, fam. Huh? You don't listen to ignorant people. Mo I would say, I would venture to say 98% of the people that heard that debate never ever heard about the cave of Machpelah. Garfield probably hadn't heard of it before I mentioned it to him. Then he went to study it and then wanted to throw down his first answer on Facebook about, you know, Finkelstein and Devers and then run to another minimalist and get wrecked. One more time, let me remind you. Noam Arnon, archaeologist, scholar, lead curator of that archaeological site, and the man who first put his hands on the bones, the bones of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Rebecca, Leah. Huh? Garfield's only rebuttal was, nah, Mr. Arnon, yes, although he was the first to go down there, and although he found bones, uh, he was the one that wrote those names on there. Shut up. You said there was no bones there, nut. You done told all these people around the world that ain't even an archaeological site. You told them ain't nothing there, dummy. You told them Finkelstein said nothing's there. Huh? You told them Deaver said there's nothing there, dummy. <laughs> then when the information come out, 
then you tell the truth. Boy, you lost. And Sotnetta, I'm going to say this to my brother. I love Sotnetta. But you are causing a worldwide laugh at you, man. Don't ever, if you're a debate, if you're debating family, and you run in a debate and you're a moderator. Moderators in a town hall style debate or any collegiate style debate don't get to debate. You get to ask a question or two, but after your question is answered, the moderator, you don't get to rebut. What the hell is wrong with you, sir? <laughs> and when you do that, you prove that the opponent, which is myself, was too much for your stable pony, baby. Your stable pony, Jabari, got beat up. Your stable pony, Garfield, got beat the hell up about the Bible. Proof after proof after proof. Archaeology after archaeology after archaeology. Hmm? Damn, dog. And then, watch. Watch this. How many other debaters go on that platform and they just deal with the debate, the moderator trying to debate them, and then the callers calling in. And I told you, I've been doing this long enough to know that when you debate on a platform and there's nothing but enemies on there, when they call in, when you get your calls, if all the calls are for you, you definitely won. Because they're they still trying to get you. They're still trying to pin you. <laughs> but I'm going to state this one more time, family. Garfield, you lied several times in that debate. And I told the people I was going to make you lie. And I proved it. I did that. State the facts one more time, Michael. The cave of Machpelah is indeed the spot where the Torah says Abraham is laid and his wife and others number two that cave was protected by a king that is in history and in the bible his name is king herod king herod built not only the temple that covers the cave of Machpelah, but king herod built the temple mount next point they asked for people to bring proof, writing about Abraham being living. Somebody. They say like it ain't existence. They thought it wasn't in existence. I give you Nicholas of Damascus, historian. Nicholas of Damascus, historian. Nicholas of Damascus worked for Herod. Mm -hmm. Even worked for... Cleopatra mm -hmm. even was a diplomat for Herod. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Because Nicholas of Damascus wrote books about Abraham. But you said ain't no writings. Nobody wrote about Abraham. Nobody talked about Abraham. But you didn't know about Nicholas of Damascus. <laughs> and what is the synchronism there? Nicholas of Damascus has writings about Abraham. We're talking about Abraham's tomb and his life, whether he was a myth or true. Well, Nicholas worked for the king, the king that's written in world history, King Herod. Again, Garfield. At the end of the day, watch this. What's the main point? Are there bones ever discovered on that site? If it's a fake site, no bones should have ever been discovered there, Garfield. This is how y'all, y'all so pseudo. If it's a fake archaeological site and King Herod was tripping when he built that, just like he was tripping when he built the Temple Mount High in Israel. <laughs> if he was tripping, what the hell are there bones under there for? Enough bones to make the same amount of people <laughs> that the Bible said is buried there. <laughs> Who found the bones, Garfield? Noam Arnon, lead curator, scholar, and archaeologist. Archaeologist. And what do archaeologists do? They excavate. 
they go in the ground and they pull out what's there, whether it's gruesome or whatever. And that man literally, when you hear Norm Arnon tell it, he says he literally went down there and started crawling over these bones. He said he was creeped out, family. <laughs> Y'all ain't never heard this shit because these pseudos act like it don't exist. And there ain't a lot of people with the knowledge or the wherewithal to go and find it. But I do. Why? Because I'm full of the spirit and full of the spirit of wisdom. And I'm led by the spirit of God. Led me right to that. And again, Mr. Arnon found what Finkelstein and what Mr. Devers didn't and couldn't do. Ain't that something? <laughs> hmm? They said no bones was ever there, family. They said Abraham was never real. But we, I gave you writings, historians. I gave you a historical site. I gave you history, historical people, and the damn bones. <laughs> and Garfield admitted it. He went through the whole story after I clapped him. Now, what you going to say next? Huh? What do you have to say? After all of that. That's why Sarnetta had to try to save you. That's why Sarnetta tried to save you and Jabari. To no avail. To no avail. Now, next time somebody tell y'all that craziness about Abraham, hit him with these same scholarly facts. Same primary. The same primaries. Hit him with it. Hit them with it, family, and see what they say. See if they can cough up a debunk. Because Garfield couldn't. Sarnetta couldn't. Jabari couldn't. Man. My wife pulling out. But yeah, man, that's a shame. So tell me how this keep on happening, family. Y'all keep saying this stuff ain't real. And I keep bringing all of this archaeology and dumping on your head. One more time, family, before I go. Wife done left out of here. I got to get, get ready to kick the day off. But one more time before I go. If you said there's no bones there. And you threw down your original argument, nut. On Facebook, you putting all that stupid junk up. <laughs> if there's no bones there, what are we doing finding bones? What are we doing finding bones, baby? There shouldn't have been nothing under that tomb. Nothing under that church. If Garfield then was right, there shouldn't have been nothing there. But I'm going to leave y'all with this. The Bible is right. And somebody's wrong. Peace.